Hi, this is Chantal from the Fur and Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today um, we will be creating ephemera, journaling cards, whatever we need to put in a journal and I will do so by using um, scraps that I have. Some of them are not like scraps, like some of them are, not scraps but leftovers, like I've cut out a few things out of there or things I've printed but I haven't used yet. Um, I have this beautiful paper by Tim Holtz. Um, I think it's the Wallflower collection. Um, and look, in, at the end, you have the big page and then you have the one that are in four. And then they reproduce each page in tiny little squares like so. I think it's very interesting because I realized as I was going through the paper today that if I use these, the squares are a perfect size to do some kind of composition with other papers um to transform these into very very beautiful things to put in journals because i am running very low i've used up everything i had for journals and now it's time to make some more so um i also wanted to mention that um i am close to another milestone i reached a hundred when it was i think during the summer and now i'm close to a thousand of you beautiful subscribers that think that my work is interesting enough for you to subscribe so thank you so so much and i will make sure to show you my appreciation um, because i will do a draw i'm not certain what will be included in that draw it could be a mix between i don't know i'm thinking maybe one of my journals and with that you add some ephemera or you like i have a brand new packs of butterflies and flowers. I have all kinds of things that I can put in that care package for a draw. Um, I'm also thinking make maybe making more than one winner. I'm unsure of where I'm going to go with this, but I promise I'm working on it very, very hard to try and come up with something very interesting for you guys to participate in. Um, but yes, so I do want to say a big, big, big thank you to all of you. Um, I am here to stay. I don't want to just do this and then give up or just stop. I have the full intention on being here for the long haul, I think the expression is, <laughs> because I love what I'm doing and I'm loving the comments I'm getting and the interactions and eventually with time when I get better, because I've only been doing these videos for seven months now, um, I'm still learning some editing tricks and such. Um, but I do want my Facebook page, the Purring Cat Studio, to be more um, interactive and I want people to post their work there and interact with one another. I want to build something is, is I think what I'm trying to say. I want to build a community um, and I'm hoping to do so. I can't make any promises because again, I'm technically challenged if we, if I can say it like that I'm, I'm getting better but it's so much so much to learn so eventually I'm hoping I will be able to develop my Facebook page to do so but in the meantime I just wanted to make sure you knew I I have fully like the full intentions on just keep on going because I am loving this I'm loving um, how I'm building this I'm loving that you're participating and you're jumping in with me you have no idea how that makes me happy. One day I'm hoping to do a live. I am worried because I don't know how. I don't know how to hook up computers. I don't know how to look for the comments while I craft. I'm not there yet, so bear with me and please be patient. I am still very new, but I would love to do that eventually. But in the meantime, we're going to keep going as we're doing. I think it's going well. I'm hoping soon to renovate my studio and get rid of all this messiness. Uh, I'm going to repaint the whole thing, change things up because as I said, I'm here to stay and I will work much better if things are a little better organized and I have a little more space to create. So in the meantime, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this session. Get your scraps out, get the things you haven't used or are afraid to use, get them out. Listen to the beautiful music. You can watch me to get inspired or just put me in the background and have me there with you. That's what I do sometimes with other crafters. I love to like lift my eyes and see what they're doing and then I get inspired myself. So I hope I can do the same for you. So on this, let's get to it. 